What's your name? Kobe Boy. I'm Tommy Gasho. Manny Puente. My name is Jameson McDivitt. John Martin Vince. Uh, Nick Mancini. Tyson Boy. Tanner Yaran. Bailey Mitchell. My name is Seth Gersman. Ty Quintos. Who was Mark Horns to you? Mark Corns to me was more than just a coach. He was kind of a father figure in life, you know, that guy that you could always be there if you needed to talk to somebody other than your parents. Well, he was obviously a coach, um, but he was definitely more than that for a lot of us. I think he was a, a role model for me mostly. Uh, well, Mark has always been a part of the team, and Satchel Lacrosse has always been more than just a team. It's always been a family and a brotherhood, and Mark Corns was always a part of that. A mentor and someone that I looked up to in life and really tried to learn from and take lessons from to use later in my life. He was a hardworking person who would do anything for Sergeant Lacrosse and his family. Someone who's always positive no matter what. Um, he's always positive to me whether I'm up or I'm down and that's just who he was. He had passion in everything that he did. He came out there every day and just told us to be the best that we could be and uh, everybody tried to strive to achieve that for him. Mark Corns was, of course, a coach, but he was also a valued friend and a mentor. And he saw that I was really trying to lose weight. So, you know, he would text me, workout regimens, what to eat, what not to eat. Um, he would ask me, like, how I was doing, how much weight I've lost. And after the quarantine, he, was, he told me he was so proud of me that I lost 40 pounds. And, you know, he doesn't regret any second of helping me. So, yeah, he was an inspiration to me. Uh, my favorite memory with Coach Corns has got to be probably after the Pensbury game. After the Pensbury game. Yeah, after the Pensbury game. Uh, it was a very emotional night for the entire team as we were playing in honor of uh, Manny Puente's father. It was a pretty emotional night for me and uh, he gave me like the biggest hug and I'm never going to forget that moment. I remember we were all in the huddle and Coach was just talking to us and you could just tell that he was, his voice was cracking up a little bit, he's starting to break down. and. He was choking up and you could just tell that he really loved every single one of our guys and that he really put so much time and dedication and that he just really loved us. He was just so proud of us. Like that was the first time that we had put like four quarters of a game together. Everybody left everything on the field that day and he was just proud of us. And you can just tell by the way that he was talking to us that he was just so proud of everything that we'd done that day, everything we'd done like up until that point in the season. And it just really, really showed how much he cared. It was really surreal to just see him, you know, just get that emotional because he cared so much for his team and his family. Uh, my favorite memory would have to be on signing day where he pulled me off to the side, he gave me a big hug, hug. he said, he said, Kobe, I'm proud of you for everything that you've done and, and I can't wait to see where you go in college and you have a bright future and, and that's something that will stay with me for the rest of my life. When I was, I was probably having a rough day freshman year and he uh, took me aside and just, you know, let me know that I was a part of something bigger than just a, a team and he uh, made it feel like a family. My favorite memory with Coach Corns was definitely beating Elsie. At the end of that game, I just went up to him and I hugged him and I was just like, thank you so much for everything. This is like one of the best moments of my life, being able to be like here with the team right now winning this game. After the Lanzell Catholic game, how excited he was. It really showed his like passion for lacrosse and how much he loved all of us. In your opinion, what's the funniest thing Coach has ever said to either you or to the rest of the team? Uh, for like um, probably the fall practices, he'd always come out and just start screaming, you know, it's a beautiful day for some lax. Man, that's a tough one because Coach was, Coach was a funny guy, but the funniest memory I probably have of him was when one of our last practices, uh, we have a play called Vermont. We were practicing this play called Vermont. And we were calling it. And the, every, the only way he'd say it the whole practice, he was just like, Vermont. Vermont. And it was just so funny. I'm just out here trying to play lacrosse, and my coach is cracking jokes, but that's just the environment that he brought. I've never felt toxic or suffocated in his environment. He was always happy and upbeat and that's something I really appreciate in a coach. Coach has said a lot of funny things but um, we have this one play uh, called Jenner. It's an inverted play and, and then he came up to us and he said guys I can't s scream that on the sideline. He's like you guys are gonna have to call it something else and 
And so we just keep that a secret to ourselves for right now. <laughs> I think one of the funniest ones was actually, it was at like the end of, I think, like a fall practice. And uh, we got in the huddle after practice like we normally do. Usually he says something like inspirational, kind of inspires us for like the next day and all that. But we walked into the huddle and I was like, all right, I got to take a dump. Okay, guys, good practice. I got to take a dump. And he left the field and then proceeded to just walk out and had the assistant coaches take over. And it was just, it was funny. And, uh, Got the whole got the whole crew laughing and yeah, it was just it was a funny day. Uh, at the end of practice one day, it was the day before a game, and he was talking about how you have to go out and punch other team in the in the mouth. And uh, he turned and looked at me and said, uh, "Not like Tanner got punched in the mouth." <laughs> if you uh, haven't heard this story, I uh, did get beat up in a lacrosse game. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest lesson he has ever taught you, either on the field or in life? The greatest lesson that coach ever taught me was that there's more to life than lacrosse and that you can't just focus on lacrosse going throughout your high school career because that only gets you so far and you need to focus on school and just being a good person overall because that, that's going to get you further in life than lacrosse. You know, he's taught me many things but one of the biggest things this year was just always be that person that makes a difference. You know, don't go out there and, and play the same way everyone else does. Be that one person that makes a difference in, in a play or, or in, a, in a quarter, and I, I take that with me forever. The greatest lesson he's ever taught me is to play for others and to do everything in life for others. Um, on the field, play for your brothers, and you'll play better, and in life, do things for others and you'll do better. The greatest lesson he's ever taught me is definitely off the field and family, just the importance of family and the importance of those connections around you and just having that bond between your brothers and being able to be there for everybody at like any time and they could possibly need you, you're always there. Coach was saying the saying, um, aren't we lucky? And I kind of thought, oh, this saying is kind of corny, you know? I'm new here, I don't really know the coach, and he says, aren't we lucky? All right, what does that mean though? Like. Of course we're lucky because we're playing with COVID happening and stuff, but what he really meant was in a much bigger field, like aren't we lucky to come into school every day? Aren't we lucky to um, just have food on the table every day, somewhere to sleep? And we're just lucky people. Sometimes I get ungrateful and that saying, I'll always remember that I'm lucky and I'm lucky for everything that he's done for me. And I really thank him for that. Um, to really just love what you have and love you know the people around you like your family and your friends because you never know when you're gonna lose them. Greatest lesson is just not take anything for granted like we're all blessed with the opportunity to be able to play lacrosse come out there every single day and compete and he taught us to just never take anything for granted just enjoy being in that moment enjoy being with the brothers that we're with and that we battle for every single day and uh, not taking anything for granted leaving everything on the field when you can and just playing for your brothers. You know, he taught me that, you know, with hard work, anything can come. And he's just always told me that a good work ethic will always lead to good things in life. And if you could say one last thing to Coach Corns, what would it be? Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you. I'll tell him thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything you've done for me in lacrosse and in life. And thank you for taking a chance on me and helping me become the player I've become over the last year and believing in me. Thank you for believing in me. Like when I was about to quit playing lacrosse, he called me and said that I can't quit. And I kept playing and I ended up having a pretty good season. I would say thank you for everything you've done for the program coming in, you know, being a JV coach for one year and then just being thrown to the wolves as a varsity coach and stepping up the way you did. Um, it was a pleasure working with you every single day. So thank you. I just have to say, Thank you for everything you've done for me, our program, and just really helping to form this brotherhood at Saraton. Thank you for sacrificing so much time to be with us. Um, thank you for showing up to every single practice. Um, thank you for really like loving all of us and accepting all of us as who we are. I really appreciate that. Thank you for everything that you've done in this program, for paving the way for the younger generations to strive in this program. and especially for coming into such a tough role, fulfilling for uh, a head coach that was loved and had success for so many years. And 
That's definitely a very hard spot to fill into, and you exceeded all expectations with that. And I thank you for that. I thank you for everything that you said to me and all, all the inspiration that you've given me over the past few months, few years, and just thank you. Thank you, Coach.